Rahu Ketu, the most feared words in astrology. I mean, there are times when people have come and told me, am I a Mangalik? Am I a person who has a Mars affliction in my chart? And it's so surprising that every individual doesn't have a Mars affliction. But every individual does undergo a phenomena in life when the Mars is, retro, Mars is retrograde or Mars is in the progressive stage or it's moving ahead. But Rahu Ketu, that is the dragon's head and the dragon's tail, is very closely associated with the planet Mars. That's how. Uh, now, what is exactly known as a Kal Sarpyog? when all the planets are within Mar, uh, within the dragon's head and the dragon's tail. Now, the dragon's head, if you actually uh, go to China or you go to Japan, when you talk about dragon's head and dragon's tail, anybody born closer, where all his planets are closer to the dragon's head is considered auspicious. When the planets are near the dragon's tail, it's considered inauspicious. Now, in our Asia, in India, the dragon's head and the dragon's tail is actually the serpent's head and the serpent's tail. It's a form of a big cobra, a form of a big snake. So if all the planets are engulfed with, within the head and the um, tail, the planets cannot give any of their energies or any of their um, effects or any of the electromagnetic rays that they happen to send to the body. So the person is actually completely into obstructions, they say. Now, if Mars, sometimes what happens is when we say the person is not a full Manglik, the person is a half Manglik, it means some of the planets are outside, maybe one or maybe two. If Mars is engulfed within the dragon's head and the dragon's tail, it's considered as a heavy Manglik. But if the Mar escapes and is a sign outside, then the dragon's head and the dragon's tail is considered half a Manglik. But now if the Mars is placed somewhere next to the dragon's head, but it is um, a sign outside the dragon's head, it's still considered very auspicious. But if Mars placement is sometime, uh, somewhere near the tail, near Ketu, that's considered as bad. But should these things affect you in, uh, mentally? I would say no. There's a very, very um, uh, famous or I, I would say a very, um, uh, it, it's a kind of a coupling which we, uh, we Indians always say. Uh, it's known as Neem Hakim Khatrejan. It means that when you go to a half-baked astrologer or a half-baked doctor, you're sure to land into trouble because you're really, you really don't know what that guy is giving to you and you, that blind faith is what actually screws you sorry using this word but it actually literally makes you rotten inside your mind and body and you completely feel lifeless you completely feel as okay my life is now over so it's very important for you guys out there to know that whether this astrologer whomsoever you're consulting is able to explain to you fully and confidently that okay if these planets are placed this way what are the repercussions going to be and if there is a problem there is a solution always so fearing whether your planets are all within that serpent's head and serpent's tail or between Rahu and between Ketu should not make you immediately feel rattled and because you must remember that when your planets are um, placed between the dragon's head and the dragon's tail or Rahu and Ketu, the eclipses also have a very strong effect that time. But the effect again is depending upon which sign you belong to and what sign the planets are placed in. But let me tell you here that the Rahu and Ketu is most effective only in the natal chart, not in your transitory charts. So you should fear, you should only be aware whether that thing, that Kal Sarp Yog or uh, the Rahu and Ketu or the placements of the planets are within that in your natal chart or not.
that's more important to know i would say awareness of everything actually uh, makes you or helps you rationalize and live a life of confidence but the flip side is ignorance is a bliss but yet both the extremes of gaining too much of knowledge of this thing and even remaining ignorant is a sure shot um, uh, i would say um, it's it's a sure shot phenomena that you will not be able to achieve much in life if either which way you are not going and just taking the middle path so my best bet would be that it's very important to have a little knowledge about your chart that how are your planets placed are they placed between the rahu and ketu are they placed between the dragon's head and dragon's tail and what are the effects that they are having on you you as an individual and how you can rationalize and how you can comprehend and actually perceive your life and be an architect of your fate just fearing that i have a kalsar pyog or just fearing that you know all my planets are near the dragon's head and so it's going to usurp all my things does not mean that you won't you cannot live an interesting life now let me tell you if the planets are placed near the serpent's head or near rahu okay it does not mean that it can engulf you and make you lifeless but at the same time if your planets are placed near ketu it does not mean that there won't be any utility in your life you will not be able to you do useless things uh, sorry useful things in life so either which way this knowledge this half baked knowledge that um, uh, people gather up and start fearing is actually self destroying it's destructive if there is a, there are minuses to having a kal sar pyog in your chart there are also pluses to it because it helps you mature it helps you grow so it's very important to know where is your rahu and ketu are your planets placed between rahu and ketu or are they scattered and the rahu and ketu is actually um, acting as a balancing factor it's very important to know that because the dragon in southeast asian countries is considered auspicious in india the rahu and ketu people fear they feel when rahu and saturn get together life does become tough but my experience and my studies have told me that when rahu and saturn get together life tests you it tests your grit it tests your determination and if you're strong and you're bold and you can withhold yourself abundance the sky is the limit now they say if ketu is in combination with other planets uh, things don't uh, go right for you ketu makes you lethargic ketu makes you completely uh, delusion you become delusionary no my answer is that the ketu drains the water energies in a person's body so you tend to feel listless this means that it is very important for you to get a thorough medical checkup done it means that somehow you are not able to build up the energies that can help you grow in life or that can help you comprehend what is happening into your life because eventually life is what you make of it